Do you want to make a Minecraft banner for YouTube like this? Then you've come to the right place. I will teach you how to make one of these. For this tutorial, you're going to need Photoshop or Photop. I'm going to be using Photop just like last time. And you'll also need Minimator to get your GFX poses. Okay, so for this tutorial, you will need Minimator again. So what you will do, will go to the Minimator website, which will be linked in the description, and download Minimator. Alright, so in Minimator, if you don't have one of these, you're going to click on New Project and name it. We'll name this GFX Banner. And the author in the description don't matter. So click Create, and we are in. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is click this. This is the rendering shader. This will make it so that when we add something to it, it'll have... When we add something to our character, it'll look awesome. So, I did not mean to... I did not mean to spawn in a Steve. So, you're going to want to change your skin variant to whichever skin variant you want. Like, Steve is 4. But the Alex is three. Luckily for me, I already know it's three, so I just type in. I just type in my name. I get my skin. Oh yeah, comment down below if you like the new skin. I think it's pretty funny. Oh, anyway, we can get rid of Steve now. You know what? You know what? We're gonna use Steve. We're gonna use Steve as the as our banner guy. All right, Steve, you are our man right now. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, Crescent. All right, so Steve, now that you have your skin, you're gonna go over here to background, click the little drop down arrow, get rid of clouds and the ground. That way it's just floating in the air. So now what we can do is just like the last tutorial, we can pose him however we want. So yeah, just take this time to pause and pose him how you'd like. Alright, so I've lined up Steve because we are going to add an item in his hand. We are going to add a fully charged bow. Now, if you don't know how to do this, you come over to the crafting table. And just like the skin where you come over here and click on it, you go over to the sword and click on whichever item you want. Like, say I wanted fishing rod. There it is, there's my fishing rod. But we don't want that right now a bow all right our bow's here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna position our bow so it's in steve's hand and when it's in steve's hand we can enchant it with our enchantment glint trick come over here and then lift it into the air and there we go now it looks like steve is winding up the bow but i think his head could be turned yeah there we go that looks perfect so now what we're going to do, if you didn't see the last tutorial that I did a couple days ago, or a few, I don't remember. <laughs> You're going to come over to the item properties after clicking on the item, go to graphics, and then go to glow. Alright, and once you're on the glow, or the glow makes it glow, as a glow should do. You're going to come over to the frame zero for item, color, and there'll be a drop down menu. So you click on the glow color and make it a purple purplish color that gives it that enchantment glint but i think it looks kind of bland so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a diamond sword and we're gonna put it on steve's back we're gonna put this on steve's back so and then we're gonna just move it so that it looks like a normal sword on somebody's back there we go now that the sword is on steve's back we're just gonna click on it glow glow cut we're gonna go over to color glow color that looks that looks very good. So I'm gonna go up close because you don't need the whole Steve to be in the thumbnail or no the banner And then you're gonna go over here to this little image button right next to this Like recording button image size should be 920 by 1080 or it can be 5 512 by 512. It doesn't matter. This one is high definition So is this one this one is like small this one is good for like profile pictures this one is good for banners except this one is the real banner size so we're gonna go over to remove background and high quality rendering and click save and then when the 
and then when the file shows up you're gonna name it whatever you want and make sure it saves as a png and then yeah you just move on to photo p all right so we're here in photo p and we're gonna click open from our computer and we're gonna put in our file it's right here so here we go here's steve so now we're gonna click file over here new and then a youtube cover the youtube covers down here and the background can be transparent there we go and then you come over to the steve and you click on the layer where he is and then you drag it into the new one it's right there and then we want to shrink and then what we want to do is we want to go over to google and we want to search up youtube banner template go to images and just click the first one and then stretch it out now it doesn't fit but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this first of all we're gonna put steve behind for right now we're gonna click this tool right here the rectangle tool right above the hand and you're gonna go from this corner all the way to above the banner template and then let go and then drag it above and that makes it so that you have a workspace but we're not done because we gotta do it on the bottom part also and then and then you can get rid of that and there you go now it fits so there is steve steve is there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our background i'm gonna search up starry night no i didn't want that night sky and then just grab whichever one you want so for me we're going to use this one actually no we are not because it has a watermark on it and we're gonna get this and just grab whichever one you like but of course you could put any background i'm just doing a starry night because i like the i like starry night so now it looks like steve is in the starry night and then we're gonna add our text now once again you can get any minecraft text but i have text from Defont. And I'll have a link to that in the description. Now we have our Minecraft font, so we're gonna size it to 110 and then place it. We're gonna search, and then we're gonna type channel. For me, it's crest. And then you're gonna size it to however, however big you want. And make sure it goes over the Steve and you can just reposition them and it looks well. So then when you double click on your text, there should be an option up here that says warp. You're gonna click on it and go over to art and then set the bend to four. That gives it this little bend and it looks amazing. So now we're gonna mess around with the text. So yeah, we're gonna add our, we're gonna go over to the gradient because this is the most important tool. And we're gonna take the black, or no, we're gonna take the white. And we're gonna make the white, we're gonna like move everything. Hang on, we're gonna, we are gonna move everything over here. And when we click on the white, we can grab our uh, color picker tool and click on a color of Steve's clothes and make it bright. And then for the bottom color, I make it a darker version of the color of Steve's clothes. So it goes from light to dark. And for the stroke, the stroke, uh, you can do it do it black on a bright background and when it's when it's on the dark background do it white like that and there we go and then there's also outer glow we can give our outer glow you gotta make it black first overlay opacity 100 spread uh spread could be 20 and size is just however much you like it i usually do mine at around like 50 and then we have our inner glow which you don't actually need but you do need an inner shadow inner shadow goes negative 90 oh opacity well if you make the opacity too much just always take it down and there we go now it looks like it has a big shadow and we can go over to steve and give him a stroke and what we want to do is we want to give steve an inner glow so he glows up but i make my overlay passy 100 spread 20 around 20 and then the size is around 30 and it's pretty much done so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click file export as png and just name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it steve banner all right and that is how you make a banner but if you don't want that starry night background you can always just do if you don't want that starry night background you can always just do a very shaded minecraft picture that you find on google so anyway i think i like this better than the stars so we're gonna name this one the real banner so yeah i hope you enjoyed that little tutorial thanks for sticking through the whole video if you liked it subscribe because it helps out a ton